PGA Commissioner Jay Monahan is in a state of denial and either does not understand the definition of the words competition and compete or chooses to speak as if he doesn't. Hey, DT here. We're talking about PGA Tour lies about live golf, debunking myths and misperceptions about live golf. And today we're talking about competition. Like always, trying to bring value to you, the viewer, timestamps in the description below if you want to jump to a specific spot in this video. Maybe smash the like button for that. And hey, do me a solid and hit the subscribe button. We're nearing 100 subscribers on the channel. Pretty neat. Thanks for the support. Now, PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan says out there, i.e. the PGA Tour, is true competition but those ranking points are you know a critical element to why the best players in the world are out here playing in this pure and true competition against the depth of field that we have jay monahan implies at best that it's the same 48 guys competing each and every week on live golf and that's a bad thing as though the pga tour in its current structure and form is the only form of competitive golf on the planet. Yet it's Roy McIlroy, a golfer Jay Monahan publicly cites as being one of the foremost leaders of the PGA Tour that has revealed PGA Tour strategy to destroy live golf in that it is to get the same top guys together in the same weeks competing in the same tournaments more often. We need to get the top, get the top guys together more often than we do. But aren't there featured pairings and... No, I'm talking about all in the same tournaments, gotcha. all in the same weeks. Okay, thanks. I'll leave a card above for the full press conference with Rory if you'd like to partake in that. And it's Jay Monahan who recently announced new elevated events that will bring together the top players more often at the same tournaments. Our top players are making a commitment to play in all 12 elevated events, as well as the Players' Championship the Masters Tournament, the PGA Championship, the U.S. Open, and the Open Championship. They will also add at least three additional PGA Tour events to their schedules. Our top players are firmly behind the Tour, helping us deliver an unmatched product to our fans, who will be all but guaranteed to see the best players competing against each other in 20 events or more throughout the season. This is an extraordinary and unprecedented commitment, a testament to who these guys are and what they believe in. Huh? So it's bad that Live Golf has the same 48 players that are competing together each and every week, but it's somehow good that the PGA Tour is bringing together the same guys to compete with each other in the same weeks, in the same tournaments, more often maybe you get it and drop a comment below and just help me understand help me through this one now let's be clear live golf makes no official comments about the competitiveness of its tournaments but let's look at the definition of the word competition and separately the word compete for that we'll use our good friend google so let's head over to the google machine and see what that tells us so if I type in the word competition, and let's see what the definition of competition is. An event or contest in which people compete. Okay, let's take a look at the definition of the word compete. So the definition of the word compete, strive to gain or win something by defeating or establishing superiority over others who are trying to do the same thing. Now, major champion winner Dustin Johnson was recently asked about coming down the stretch to win at a live golf event, and dare I say, a competition. For myself, I wanted you know, to finally get my first uh, victory out here, especially I felt like I've had a really good chance to win you know, every single week, just hadn't played as well on Sunday as I'd like to, but um, played really nicely today and, you know, finally get the first W. Did the competitive juices flow as much as they ever have? Yeah, absolutely. If not more, especially with that check that you get. Um, yeah, you, you can feel it. So what are professional golfers competing for? Money, personal accomplishment, which might lead a person to use the word legacy. And no doubt there is inherent history 
and legacy with anything that has tenure. I've spoken about the familiarity with tournaments and rivalries that are so special to me personally that the familiar traditions that they create can never be matched. Like watching the Masters or a President's Cup or Ryder Cup before live golfers were banned. Now, Jay Monahan uses the fundamental head start the PGA Tour has in an arrogant and elitist way. When you look at the PGA Tour, uh, and you look at where we are today, and you look at what it is that we try and accomplish uh, every single day, what's, what's our focus? To put the best competitive platform forward for the best players in the world to achieve at the highest level, to win the championships that have history, that have tradition, that create legacy. And that is what we are going to continue to do. And we're gonna to continue to get better at it. We're gonna to continue to get stronger at it. And so that, you've heard me say before that we're gonna focus on the things that we control. Uh, we have more assets at our disposal, stronger partnerships, and we have the best players in the world telling us that, that not only are they gonna to commit to play more, but they also share that, they're really looking to the organization to accomplish that. And so it's all about where we are and where we're going. And again, I couldn't be more excited about the possibilities there. And you can contrast that with after winning his second start on Live Golf, Australian Cameron Smith speaks to, in a very reasonable and humble way, the idea of tournaments having history and legacy. Yeah, I think, you know, once upon a time, you know, ev everything had to start once upon a time. So um, I think for sure there, there is a history aspect that is for certain missing, but um, doesn't mean that the tournament is a bad tournament because of it. I mean, there's 48 of the best guys out here trying to compete and trying to win. Um, you know, in 10, 20 years time, these could be the biggest events in the world. We just, we're just not there yet. Jay Monahan continues to be very careful with his words, never directly mentioning Live Golf. But make no mistake, Jay Monahan is poking Live Golf in the eye by saying and implying that Live Golf is not true competition. So what do you think? I've found Jay Monahan to be quite a polarizing character. The PGA Tour is great. Golf at its highest level and being around that is fascinating to me personally. Intentionally snubbing live golf as not being competitive does not seem right to me. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. What's yours? Thanks for stopping by.